All coming up, but we're going to begin with breaking reaction to President Trump's newest Twitter controversy. Four Democratic Congresswomen of color, including Michigan's Rashida Tlaib, responding to President Trump's remarks, doubling down on his controversial tweets, telling them to, quote, go back to the places from which they came. The reaction from both sides of the aisle has been highly critical of the president. Jermont Terry in the newsroom to bring us up to speed with what's happened here in the last hour or so. Jermont. Devin, the president is known to stir up controversy with his tweets. But this weekend, so many from both sides of the political aisle believe he went too far. Yet Mr. Trump refuses to back down. Speaking at the White House, President Trump insisting the tweets where he told progressive Democratic congresswomen to go back from where they came were not racist. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. And that's what I say all the time. That's what I said in a tweet, which I guess some people think is controversial. A lot of people love it, by the way. A lot of people love it. But a lot of people were bothered by the tweets, including Michigan Republicans. Representative Fred Upton said, frankly, I'm appalled by the president's tweets. There's no excuse. And Paul Mitchell replied directly to the president's tweet, saying, I share the political frustrations with some members of the other party, but these comments are beneath leaders. The president never named anyone specifically, but these four congresswomen, including Michigan's Rashida Tlaib, say it's clear who Mr. Trump was talking to, and they say it's time to hold them accountable. Sadly, this is not the first, nor will it be the last time we hear disgusting, bigoted language from the president. We know this is who he is, and we know that he and his administration are constantly engaged in actions that harm residents and American people in our country. Now, the congresswomen all say the president is doing one thing, offering, quote, disruptive distraction to the matters that people care about. Live in the newsroom, Jermont Terry, Local 4. A lot of people talking. Okay, thanks, Jermont.